Stay tuned to see what I make with this beautiful transfer from the Spring to Summer Collection. Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah, and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalking Creations. I'm an independent designer of Chalk Couture and I'm doing this video because I wanted to let you know that this 9x12 Sylvie board with the black frame and white reusable surface will no longer be available after March 19th of 2022. Um, I don't know if it's going into retired or discontinued. All I know is it's not going to be available. It does have hardware, so if you want to hang it vertically or horizontal, you could do that. Um, I just wanted to do a video with a project, so that way you have an opportunity to get it while you still can. Um, I'm going to be using this transfer. This is a size B transfer. It's eight and a half by 11. It is part of the new spring and summer collection. This is called Dream Wildly. And um, this, I'm not sure exactly how long this project's going to take. You can make it as quick as you want or as long as you want. Um, I'm going to be using three colors and I want to do like a little painting. So I chose some other colors to kind of go with it and blend. We're going to see how that goes. I have my jars of water here. I've got some paint brushes. And I'm also, because it might take me a little bit to do this project, I also have a pan, a glass pan of water here, and I'm going to show you how to clean a transfer. I always say it, but I have not shown it. Um, I mean, I have briefly, like on the table or something like that. I have not taken it to the sink because that would be a whole other setup. But if I can at least bring a pan of water to give you some idea of how to clean your transfer, I think that would also help. So there's a lot of information to take in, but the most important thing about this video is to give you the opportunity and to know that this Sylvie frame board, the black frame with the white reusable surface, that means you can clean this off and reuse it. This is really great. If you like the size transfer, the size B transfers, if you're a club member and you like the lighter surface, I want to be sure to let you be aware of it and give you an opportunity to get one while supplies last and while it's still available. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, this is, like I said, uh, part of their new spring and summer collection. This is the Dream Wildly. Your transfer will come in a plastic sleeve like this with a resealable flap. Okay, be sure to keep this. You can use it for storage, and it also has use and care instructions on the back. So you want to hold on to that. And on the back of your transfer, you want to write with a Sharpie marker or put an X, a mark, whatever. Um, and I'll explain why that is in case you have never seen any of my other videos before. So I'm just going to write Dream Wild. Okay. Why you write on here is because this is the mat side. This is your back of your sheet for your transfer. These are reusable. They're sticky. On the other side, they're reusable. Chocolate says 8 to 10 times. Sometimes you get more of a use out of it, depending on the surfaces and how you care for it. And it is on the shiny side. So that way, once your transfer is clean and it's dry, if you're in a hurry, you're not paying attention, you do not adhere it to the wrong side. So that's why you write it on the back. Okay, so I'm going to peel this transfer off and set your backer sheet aside. Now grab your fuzzing cloth. Now any of the products that I, oops, I'm so sorry. Any of the products I have, um, not that I have, but Chocotour has available if they are not sold out. I I keep bumping this. I, I apologize for that. Um, I will post it in an editable shopping cart link. I will also post the Sylvie frame. Right here, I will post this with a separate link, and I will also post it with the edible shopping cart link in case you just want to get the frame and it'll be easier for you. Now, that edible, editable link, you can add, you can subtract, you can um, continue to shop with it, just so I would let you know. Now, you, but you need to fuzz because this is sticky. You do need to fuzz your transfer. So that way it does not adhere to your surface so well to when you go to pull it up, it stretches and distorts or could possibly ruin your transfer. And that reusable surface does have a slight texture to it, so I probably need to do this about three or four times. Okay. 
I do like that frame combination and that frame color. Um, and I did want to let you know about it. So that way, if you see a project that you would like that light background, you have the opportunity to get it. I believe it is $19.99 in U.S. dollars. And then obviously you would have the shipping. If you are a club member, you get that low rate shipping. So that is definitely a perk. All right, I think I have fuzzed enough. Hopefully it's not too much. I'm going to set that aside. Now, I eyeball things. This is a 9 by 12 I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but this is a 9 by 12 frame. It's uh, the black frame with the white surface. Um, if you'd like to measure and have everything precise, you are more than welcome to do that. I eyeball things. So I'm going to kind of just hopefully tack it there. I'm going to hold it up and see. I think it needs to come over just a skosh. All right, let's see. Pretty close. So what I do is I put my finger in the middle. I go up, down, then side to side. And then I smooth out with my hands. And why you do that is that way if there's any like wrinkles or little air bubbles or there might be some little fuzzies like right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right there, there's a little lump. So I have a little fuzzy or something stuck to the back. That way, it, you know you have good coverage on your surface. And not good coverage, I'm sorry. Good contact with your surface. Okay. Now I will be using, this is the small squeegee. This is the mini squeegee. And I will also be using my multi-tool. I'll be using these three tools in addition to some personal items, you know, like paint brushes. And I'll also be using some of the stir sticks. Any of the products that are available that Chalk Couture sells that I am using, like I said, I will post those in the link as long as they are in stock at the time of me posting this video. And I just like to take that bevel edge because there's a bevel edge here. Hopefully you can see that. And just to make sure that it's pretty smooth on there. All right, my three main colors that I'm going to be using. This is one of the new colors in their summer palette. This is called Wild Orchid. I'm going to be using this for the flower. It's so pretty. Okay. I'm going to be using Shimmer. This is sh oh no, I'm sorry. This is Pesto. I'm going to be using Pesto for the leaves. Okay, that's the pasta. Now, I've already pre-stirred these. These are the paste jars. And for the wording, I'm going to use Storm Gray. And that one I'll use my mini squeegee on. All right, so I'm going to take my small squeegee. I'm going to put it in that Shimmer Orchid. This is a gorgeous color. I'm going to apply generously to my transfer. I can always scrape off the excess in a little while. Um, don't be concerned if the paste does stain your transfer. That will happen. There, there's no damage done to it. The only thing is when you clean it, you want to try to make sure that mesh screening that is in the transfer there is clean. Okay. A little bit more there. Now you could do this all one color. You can leave this, um, you know, in different colors. You can kind of paint in, which is what I'm going to want to do. Now that I have that on there, I'm going to scrape off the excess back into my jar that was on my squeegee. Oops, I forgot the little corner there. There we go. And then with that bevel side, I'm going to scrape off the excess, put it back in the jar. I am going to need to move a little quickly here because, you know, it's spring and warm other places. I have snow today and my furnace is going, so my air is a little dry in my house. So my pace could dry sooner than what I care for. So I'm going to try to move a little quickly. Okay. I'm going to set that aside, put the cap on there. Now I'm going to do pesto for the leaves. 
in the stem. And I'm using my multi-tool for that. You might get a little green with the flower there. Oh well. Anytime during this video, if you like what you're watching, if you could, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and be sure to click that notification, notification bell. It helps me out with YouTube algorithm and I would greatly appreciate it. I love this tool. I, I find it very convenient, very useful. And if it is available, as in, you know, in stock, I will definitely add that, add this to the cart. Now I'm scraping off the excess and placing the excess back in the to the jar. I'm gonna set that aside. That one's done, and now I'm going to use my mini squeegee for the lettering in gray. Now you could do this in black, which I thought about doing, but I think I wanted to do it in gray. I did not want to take away from the flower. And you use the bevel edge and you just apply it generously. And then you can just remove the excess. Okay, scrape that off. And you want to be able to see some of the design coming through. That way you have good, even coverage. And I think that's pretty good. All right, let's set that aside. Put my lid, and now it's time for the peel and reveal. Now you grab from the corners. Okay, you work your way to the middle. And then you slowly peel it up. And why you want to slowly peel it up is that way if you missed a little area, you can lay it back down and touch it up. Oh, that's pretty. Now you can leave that as is on its own. I absolutely think that's gorgeous on its own, but I thought, I'm going to try to be a little creative. I'm not sure how this is going to work. And I wanted to do a little painting with some of the other paste colors inside the flower, inside the leaves. Just curious to see how it looks. But I think with this black silver frame, that just absolutely pops. I just absolutely love that. I'm going to set this aside to air dry for just a moment. And I'm going to show you how to clean this transfer. Because as soon as you're done with your transfer, if you're able to get this clean, you should do that. So that way it minimizes the risk of your, your paste drying into your screen. Okay. Now I've got a little pan of water. Do not leave this to soak because it will start eroding away and working, deteriorating, I should say, your uh, adhesive on the back. You should take this to the sink to do it. But we're just going to play. Now, this is my well-loved Border Racer, okay? I know the Border Racers are sold out right now, but I will show you one that has not been used. This is what they look like. You get there for a pack or two, but they are sold out. So, I mean, you can just do this with your fingers. If you have a, a magic eraser, you could do that. You just have to be a little bit more gentle with it because it, it's a bit more abrasive than what this one is. Now I have it sticky side down. This is the top part. And you just use your border eraser to get some of that, that paste, or if you're using ink, off your, your transfer, the front of it. The water's going to get a little murky. That's why you go to the sink, so that way you can rinse it off and see what you're doing. Okay. Now, I've cleaned the front of it, and as you can see, yeah, there's some glitter. There's still a little bit there, and I told you it will stain it, but you want to look at the screening, the lines are, and it, see if you see any paste that is in there, and if you do, you want to try to get that out. There's like a little bit right here. I just, I was able to get that off with my finger. Okay. And here's the back of it. you got all this glitter stuck on here. 
So I am going to take this to the sink because of the glitter and I'm going to rinse this off and then I'll show you how to wipe it off and lay it out to dry. So just give me a moment here. Now you will always, when you use the shimmers, you will always get some type of um, that fine glitter stuck to it. It's no problem. You want to try to wipe it off. Okay, I've given it a good rinsing. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to lay this sticky side down on my table. Now this isn't solid wood, this is like a Formica thing here. And with a disinfectant wipe, you can use Clorox, Lysol, dollar store stuff, no brand, you know, name brand stuff, it doesn't matter. You want to wipe this off the front, okay? A wet mess here. So I'm going to use a piece of paper towel and dry this off. Now this is a towel that I use. If you've seen any of my previous videos, I just lay it on here and I usually sprinkle it or spritz it with some water. But I don't want to leave it sitting there that long. And then you also take that Lysol wipe or Clorox, or like I said, store brand, whatever you want to use. And you just wipe off the back of it. You don't want to rub too hard. Let's just hold up to light and make sure. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. Don't see any paste in there. And then you leave it sticky side up and you let it air dry. And once it is dry, and how you know it's dry, it will be sticky. See right now, it's wet, it's not sticking to me. It gets sticky. And once it's good and dry and it's sticky, then you take your backer sheet, leave it laying on its surface, you take your backer sheet, and then you stick it back on there and you smooth it out, and you put it back in your sleeve for storage. So that gives you some idea of how to clean your transfers. Move that here. And I'm going to bring this back down here. Now what I was wanting to do is paint a little bit in the leaves. I'm, I think I am done with the pesto. I don't think I'm going to use that anymore. Um, I might use a little bit more. I'm done with my tools. It's now I'm going to, I've got a couple of extra little plates here that I use. And I have some stir sticks, so that way I can scoop out a little bit of the paste because I want to do a little bit of painting with the paste. Okay, so I'm just going to scoop out a little bit of color here and there. I'm going to set the ones aside that I think I might need again. I'm not using the gray anymore. Uh, this is berry. This is pretty. It's a pretty purple. So I don't cross contaminate. I'm going to use different colors. I mean different sticks. Okay. Get my paintbrushes out of the way here. I have this gorgeous peony. Peony pink. Isn't that pretty? Now I'm not sure if I'm going to use all these colors or not. I might just use one or two. But I want to have them set up and out in case I decide that I am using them. I like the color combination, but like I said, I'm not 100% positive. But you don't have to do this stuff. You can leave this as is, one and done, and you're good to go. Uh, this is the Shimmer Olive. I'm going to use this inside the leaves there. I don't think I'm going to need much of that. Let me put that over here. Okay. 
And I have bright white, and I'm using that in case I want to lighten the colors up a little bit. Because you can mix and create your own color combinations, so I'm going to get a gob of this. Let's set that there. Okay. And I want to make sure that this is dry. It's not dry. So I'm going to get my drying tool here. I'm going to dry this. I guess I should have done it before I grabbed all that paste out because that paste will dry fairly quickly and you'll get a skin coat on it. But I think this looks very nice with this, this uh, silvy frame, the black frame with the white reusable surface. So if you are able to get it, please do, because it was showing that it will be unavailable after March 19th, 2022. Now, I don't know if that means retired. I don't know if that means they're going to save up for promotion or they're just going I don't know. It just says unavailable after. So I thought it would be appropriate for me to do a project here with it to uh, give you some idea of something you could do with the frame and to let you know that it will be unavailable. There's nothing like going to get something and you find out you can't get it. <laughs> oh, get that disappointment. Okay, I'm going to pull up my chair here. And I think what I'm going to start first is with the flower. I've got, I'm going to use this little jar for the green because I don't have that much green. I'm going to do the pinks and the purples. I don't want that one. Yeah, which one did I want? Not this one. I think maybe this one. All right. You can paint with the paste straight if you like. Um, I don't necessarily want to do that completely, but I don't want it so watery to where it's it's running all over the place. I'll grab me some paper towels so that way I can dry off my brush when need be. It does not take much water if you're going to do it on a surface. Now if you're going to do this on fabric or maybe wood, you can water it down more because it absorb it. Um, let me see here. This is a very abstract flower, so I'm just going to kind of a few things here. I'll mix some colors. I'm just kind of like just abstractly kind of fill it in. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that pink, a little touch of white. That's why I said I'm not sure how long this, <laughs> this is going to be. Let's just give you an idea of things that you could do with this. You don't have to fill it in completely. If you don't want to. I'm just tr trying to blend, but like I said, this can dry pretty quickly. and just use that as an outline. I think this one I would like a little bit more pink. The Scotia purple. If this video is giving you some inspiration and some ideas, which is what I wanted to do, if you could please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and click on that notification bell so that way you'll be notified whenever I do another video. I would greatly appreciate it and would help me out with YouTube algorithm. You can get as detailed or, um, or as not, just a little, if you want to just do like a little filler like on the in inside, like this. You just do petal strokes, you can do that too. You could fill the whole entire thing in completely if you wanted to.
your little bit of blending. So you can use these paste for other things besides just with the outlines. You see I'm doing here. You can blend your colors, come up with other combinations. Okay, I might need a little bit more of that orchid. Just dab it here and there. You know, kind of give it like the little petal look to it. Like when you see the, you know, some of the flowers, you can see like the veins of the leaf or the, the petals. But yeah, you can paint with this. Like I said, blend. Leave it as is. Kind of experimenting here. I have to admit I've never done this before so this is new for me and I thought you know I, I really like this this transfer this is very very pretty and I like it on its own itself without doing this but I thought well you know what let's see what happens there's enough space here where you if you want to do do something like that you can It doesn't have to be perfectly filled in. We have a few little white spots here and there. Still add to that abstract look to it. It's not too watery. But yeah, this is a very nice frame. I like it. Uh, I also like the one with the the white frame and the black surface too. Turn things around here a little bit. I think I do need to get a little bit more of that shimmer orchid. Um, but yeah, I like this with this black frame. So if you are able to snag one, be sure to do that. And I, like I said, as long as um, all these paste colors are in stock or any of Chocotour's products that I am using doing this are available, I will have it in that link for you. But even if you just got the pesto and that shimmer orchid, which is absolutely gorgeous, that would be great. And just leave it as is. All right, it's starting to get a little, a little thick on that brush there.
Let's do a little bit more pink here. I do hope you're enjoying this video and this is giving you some inspiration and ideas of things that you can do with the mesh screen transfers. Sorry I'm not as talkative. Um, it is a little, a little challenging trying to paint and talk at the same time. I'm not going to lie. Oops, put it in the wrong one. I have to admit, so far I, I like it. There's something different. I mean, it's not taking too terribly long. You could get very detailed. You could get in here with a very fine brush if you wanted to. I mean, that's totally up to you. It's like a coloring book, I guess you could say. Mm -mm. Get a little something in here. I don't want all that white. All right. I like that. I hope you do too. If not, you I mean, you could do your own color choices. You could do these in, in pink. If you want to do a blue one, a green one, whatever color you would like to do. All right, I am going to do my uh, my leaf, my leaves here. Add a little bit of water. Get that going, and this is then going to be in the shimmer olive. Get a little sparkle. We got a little sparkle there with that shimmer orchid in the flower. We'll take a little sparkle here with the leaves. Almost gives it kind of like watercolor with this one. Okay. It's a little thick in some spots. That's okay. It gives it texture. All right. And that is it. So that is a project that you would be able to do. Like I said, you could leave it as is on its own. You could fill it in. I do. I like how that turned out. Now, um, I think I'm going to let this air dry. Yeah. 
So if you're able to get this Sylvie board, that would be fantastic. It's the one with the black frame and the white surface. I think it just absolutely makes this pop. All right, you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching and take care.